Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan, I'm a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict, and I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by to check out my video today. This is a yarn and crochet channel where we talk about all things yarn and all things crochet, so if that is of interest to you, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and then of course turn those notifications on to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel. Today my friends, I offer you Friendship Beanie number 4. So we are on the fourth installment for the month of February. We are creating friendship beanies, uh, going through friends of mine on YouTube, on this side of the screen. People are giving me their favorite stitches. I'm putting them on the wheel. We are spinning and we are creating a beanie. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, friends, so let's go ahead and get this started. So on the wheel, I have a bunch of people on this wheel and their favorite stitches, okay? All friends of mine, friends of yours, friends of everyone on the YouTube streets. And so I asked them for their favorite stitches. They gave them to me. And so as the month of February winds down, you'll start to see these arrows here. So, so far we have four arrows, which is fine. If we land on the arrows, we'll choose one or the other uh, of the stitches and we'll move forward and continue on okay so around the perimeter of the wheel here we have dots the dots will indicate how many um, different stitches we will be spinning for okay so we're going to do that one first and then we will go and take next steps after that okay so let me prop this on my leg here okay so all across the wheel here we have five dots and four dots if we land on five dots we will have five stitches on our next beanie. If we land on the four, on four dots, we will have four stitches on our next beanie. Pretty simple. So let's let's figure that out. All right, here we go. Okay, so friendship beanie number four will have four stitches. So we will need to spin this wheel until we have four stitches for our beanie. Okay, let me just grab a piece of paper. I'll be right back. Okay, friends, so now that we know that we're spinning for four stitches, let's talk about what stitches are on the wheel, okay? So, let's start right here with Lucas. So, Lucas's favorite stitch is the wide half double. Next, we have Lenann. Lenann's favorite stitch is the lemon peel stitch. Next, we have Sharon. Sharon's favorite stitch is the double cross stitch. And then we have Diana with her favorite stitch being the treble cross stitch. And then we have Crystal with the Harlequin stitch. Next we have Nancy with the double herringbone. And then we have Mishy with the half double cross stitch. And then we have Art Junkie and her favorite stitch is the half double crochet. And then we have Jen with the half double cluster stitch. Last but not least, we have Ola Jo with the Alpine Stitch. So, um, there is that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and spin for those four stitches. Just give me one second. Okay, friends, let's go ahead and spin for the first stitch. All right, we have the double herringbone from Nancy. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and spin for the second stitch, my friends. Next, we have Jen with a half double cluster. Okay, half double cluster, Jen. Okay, let's go ahead and spin for stitch number three. So we have Sharon with the double cross stitch. Okay, Sharon. And that's the double cross. Okay. And last but not least, the fourth stitch, friends. Fingers are crossed for a really good one. Let's go. All right, it landed on Nancy again. 
We already have her, so let's spin again. Okay, so we're at an arrow. We already have Nancy, so the only logical choice would be Mishy. So Mishy's is the half double cross. Okay, half double cross Mishy. Okay, so here are our stitches, just to recap. So we have the double herringbone stitch, we have the half double cluster, we have the double cross, and then we have the half double cross. I can make that look really good. I'm excited. Okay, let's go and jump over to the tutorial table and get this started. I'll see you on the other side, friends. Okay, friends, so for this tutorial, we are going to be using Red Heart Super Saver Ombre in the colorway Deep Teal, okay? And I'm gonna be using a six millimeter crochet hook, which is what you see before you here, otherwise known as a US letter J, okay? So because of the stitches that we wound up with, we have the half double cluster, the half double cross, the double cross, and the double herringbone. We're gonna go ahead and do a half double crochet crown. So to start, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a slip knot on our hook. However you do this is absolutely fine. From here, we're gonna chain four. So one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna go into the very first chain drop a loop and slip to close, and then pull on your tension on the hook and your working yarn. From here, we're gonna chain one. And then in your circle, you're gonna do 12 half double crochets. Yarn over, go into the circle, drop a loop, yarn over, and go through all three, okay? Let's do it again, just like that. Yarn over, go in the circle, drop a loop, yarn over, go through all three. So for the very first round, my friends, we're going to need to have 12 half double crochets. So continue doing that, and I will see you at the end of round one. Okay, so here we are at the end of round one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and insert our crochet hook into the very first stitch of the round, which is right there. We're gonna drop a loop and slip to close and chain one. So that's the end of round one. For round two, we're gonna to need to do 24 half double crochets. And we're gonna start by working into the stitch we just came out of with two half double crochets. So yarn over, go into the stitch, drop a loop, go through all three. And then do the same thing. And that, my friends, we call twins in a stitch. So every stitch of the round here will get twins in a stitch. One and two, twins in a stitch. One and two, twins in a stitch, okay? So continue doing that, my friends, and I will see you at the end of round two, 24 half double crochets. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round two total of 24 stitches for the round. What we need to do, like before, we're gonna go into the very first stitch of the round. We're going to drop a loop and slip to close. And that's the end of round two. So for round three, we need a total of 36 stitches for the round. We're gonna go ahead and chain one. And what we're gonna do is we're going to Go back into the stitch that we just came out of with a half double crochet. Next door here, we're gonna do twins in a stitch. Two half double crochets in the next stitch. Next door, a standalone, just one half double crochet. And then in the next stitch, twins in a stitch. One and two. Okay, so that is the repeat for this round. A standalone and twins in a stitch. Just like that, okay? So continue doing that all the way around for a total 
of 36 stitches and I will see you here at the last stitch. Okay friends, so here I am at the end of round three. I have 36 total stitches and to close off the round we're going to go into the very first stitch of the round. Drop a loop and slip to close. We're going to chain one. So for round four we need 48 total stitches. Okay, so to do that we're going to do a half double crochet in the stitch we just came out of. And what we're going to do is we're going to do two standalones and then twins in a stitch for this round. So we have one, so let's do the next one. Twins in a stitch is next. So standalone, standalone, twins in a stitch. Standalone, standalone, twins in a stitch. Standalone, standalone, twins in a stitch. Just like that. Okay? So standalone, standalone, twins in a stitch. Standalone, standalone, twins in a stitch. So you just keep doing that all the way around. You'll have 48 total stitches, and I'll see you at the end of round four. Okay, friends, so I just ended round four. 48 total stitches, looking good so far. So what we need to do is we need to go into the very first stitch of the round, which is right here, insert our hook, drop a loop, slip to close, chain one. And so for round five, we need 60 total stitches, okay? So to do that, it's going to be standalone, 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 twins and a stitch. So three standalones. One, two, and three, and then twins and a stitch. Okay? Standalone, 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 twins and a stitch. Let's do it again. So standalone. Standalone, standalone, and then twins in a stitch. Okay, do it one more time. Standalone, 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 twins in a stitch. Piece of cake. Okay, so continue doing that, my friends, and I will see you at the end of this round for a total of 60 stitches, all half double crochet. Okay friends, so here I am at the end of round five. We have a total of 60 stitches, all half double crochets, okay? So to close off the round, what we need to do is we need to insert into the first stitch, drop a loop, slip to close, chain one. Okay, so, what we need to do now is we have one more round of increases, but we're not going to the traditional 72. So what we're going to do is we're going to think of this as a pizza pie, okay? So we're going to go to 64 stitches. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to half double crochet 14, and then on the 15th one, twins in a stitch, 14. And then on the 15th one, twins in a stitch. So you're going to look at this, well, maybe not necessarily as a pizza, but maybe a clock, right? So 12, 3, 6, and 9. Okay, those points, 12, 3, 6, and 9, will all get twins in a stitch, okay? So 14 standalones and then twins in a stitch. 14 standalones, twins in a stitch. Okay, so let's do it. Let's go into the stitch we're just coming out of. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and then now twins in a stitch, okay? And you're going to do that three more times. So 14 standalones, twins in a stitch, 
14 standalones, twins in a stitch, 14 standalones and twins in your very last stitch. Okay? So continue doing that, and I will see you at the end of the round. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round six, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. The magic number here is 64, okay? So we are finished the crown. All half double crochets. It looks great. We love it. It's all the things. Okay, so now what we need to do is go into the very first stitch of round six, drop a loop and slip to close, chain one. Okay, so for the next round here, for round seven, we're going to go ahead and do the half double cluster stitch. Okay, so to do that, we're going to go into the very first stitch that we came out of with a yarn over, go in, drop a loop. Oops, let me get that loop. Okay, drop a loop, yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop. Yarn over and go through all five loops. Just like that. So yarn over. Now go into the stitch we just came out of, right here. Drop a loop. Yarn over. Go into the next stitch. Drop a loop. You'll have five loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and go through all five loops. Don't go to the next stitch. You're going to go right into the stitch you just came out of. Yarn over. Go into that stitch. Drop a loop. Yarn over, now go into the next stitch, drop a loop. Five loops on your hook, yarn over, and go through all five. Let's do that again, but a little slower. So we're going to yarn over, go into the stitch we just came out of, drop a loop, yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, and go through all five. And that's what it's looking like. Okay? So you're going to want to do that for every stitch of this round. Just like this. Okay? So continue doing that, and I will see you at the end of the round. Okay, friends. So here I am at the end of round seven. And as of right now, I have 62 stitches. And it looks like I'm not going to have enough. But don't worry. There's a plan. So, because it's the stitch that it is, we need to work into the stitch that we're coming out of. So, so far we have 62. We're gonna yarn over, go into the stitch that I'm just coming out of right here. We're gonna drop a loop. Then we're gonna yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop. There's five loops on the hook. Let's yarn over and go through all five, okay? So now what we need to do to get the very last stitch of the round, we need to yarn over, go into the stitch that we just came out of, drop a loop, yarn over, and go into the very first stitch of the round, which is where my thumb is, right here. We're going to go into that stitch, drop a loop, there's five loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over and go through all five loops, just like that. So it's kind of looking like it's overlapping, but you want it to do that because you don't want any gaps. So as you can see, this is the very first stitch of the round. So to close off, we're going to go into that stitch, draw up a loop, and slip to close. Chain one. Okay? So just go ahead and squeeze everything in. And it's okay if it buckles like that. It's going to start taking shape soon. Okay? All right. So the next thing that we're going to do now is we are going to jump over to the half double cross stitch. Okay, so to do that, what we need to do is we're going to chain one more. And then instead of working into the stitch that we're just coming out of, we're going to skip a stitch. So we're going to jump over to this second stitch right here. So we're going to yarn over, go into that stitch, draw up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three, just like that, very carefully, okay? Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into that very first stitch. We're gonna go backtrack. 
by going into that one right there. So we're going to yarn over, go into that first stitch. That's the first stitch. We're going to go into that stitch right there. We're going to draw up a loop. It's a little tricky at first. There we go. We're going to um, yarn over and go through all three of those loops. Okay. So from here, we're going to skip this stitch here and go to this stitch here. So unlike this, we're not working into the stitch we just came out of. So that's done. So now we're going to focus on these two stitches. So from here, we're going to go to here. Okay, so we're going to skip this stitch and come here. So yarn over, go into that stitch right there, drop a loop, yarn over and go through all three. Then we're going to backtrack and go into the skipped stitch, which is right here. We're going to yarn over and go into that stitch just like that. So let me just make sure that's done correctly. Yarn over, go into that stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three. Okay. So skip the stitch and go to the next one here. Yarn over, go into the stitch, draw up a loop. Yarn over, go through all three, then yarn over, backtrack, go into the skipped stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. Just like that. Okay? So continue doing that, friends. You want a total of 64 stitches, and I'll see you at the end of the round. Okay, friends. So now I just completed round eight. You should have... Um, 32 of these little crosses okay so now to close off the round what we need to do is we need to go into the very first stitch of the round which is this one right here drop a loop slip to close chain one so this next stitch is going to be the double cross okay and with the double cross we're not going to be working into any stitches we're going to work into these open spaces um, on either side of the crosses, okay? So, double crochet, you're literally going to jump right to this side of the cross. Go into the space, do a double crochet, yarn over and go back to this, this spot here and do the double crochet. Just make sure you give yourself enough space to get around everything. So from here, we're going to jump to right here, to this side of the cross. And then we're going to backtrack and go to this side. So double crochet, then come back, double crochet, jump over here, double crochet. Yeah. Let's try that again. There we go. Then come back here, double crochet. Okay. So I had to get some more yarn here. Just continue doing double crochets on either side of the previous cross for the double crochet cross. So by doing that, we're minimizing um, the potential for a huge gap if we were to just work into the stitch. Of course, it would bring it down a little further, but the holes would be bigger. So we're just gonna minimize the holes if at all possible, okay? So continue doing that, my friends, working double crochets on either side of the crosses. So you're gonna to go to the far side first, double crochet, and then yarn over and go back, backtrack, and do a double crochet that way. There we go. Okay, just like that. So continue that. And I will see you at the end of the round. Okay, friends. So I am approaching the end of round nine. So I just have this one final square to do. And while I work, I was thinking about, you know, the pattern, the repeats and things. So what I think we're going to do is we did a round here, round eight was the half double cross and then we did the double cross 
And I think we're going to go back and do the half double cross. So it'll be a row of half, a row of double, and a row of half. Okay? So we're going to end round nine by going into the first stitch, as per usual. We're going to chain one and then repeat the same thing we just did, but do half double crochets. Yarn over, go into this side of the cross, yarn over and go through three, yarn over, go back here, drop a loop, yarn over and go through three. We're just going to repeat that all the way down and around this round here for round 10. Just make sure you don't pull too tight so it can make its way around the stitch, okay? You don't want it too loose either. So just pay attention to the tension. Just like that. Okay. This is what it's looking like so far. All right, so continue doing that, my friends, and I will see you at the end of this round, which is round 10. Okay, so I'm ending round 10. So to uh, end round 10, we need to go into the first stitch of the round, drop a loop and slip to close, chain one. So we're just gonna repeat this pattern here. So we're gonna do half double cluster, and then um, half double cross, double cross, half double cross, and now we're gonna do the cluster. So it's gonna be a situation like that okay so what we're going to do is yarn over go into the stitch we just came out of draw up a loop go into the next stitch which I believe is let's see I don't want to make a mistake here go into this stitch right here draw up a loop five loops on the hook yarn over go through all five and then yarn over, go into the stitch you just came out of, draw up a loop very carefully, yarn over and go into the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through five. So we're going to do the half double cluster going to every one of those stitches. See, so you have a big one and a small one. They all count. Okay. So. Yarn over, go into the stitch, drop a loop. Yarn over, go into the next one, drop a loop. And just continue on this pattern here. Okay? So continue doing that. You're going to need a total of 64 for the round. Okay? I'll see you at the end. Okay, friends. So I am ending round 11 here. I just counted and verified that I have 64 of these half double clusters. Okay. So what we need to do is, let's see, go into the very first stitch of the round, draw up a loop and slip to close, chain one. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate the one stitch we haven't done yet, which is, let's see, the double herringbone stitch. Okay, so to do the double herringbone stitch, we're gonna go into the stitch we just came out of. We're gonna yarn over. We're gonna go into the stitch, drop a loop. We're gonna go through just one of those loops. We're going to go through just one loop. Well, yarn over and then go through one loop. Yarn over and then go through two. So let's try that again. Yarn over, go into the stitch, drop a loop, and go through one. Yarn over, go through one. Yarn over, go through two. Let's do that again. Yarn over, go into the stitch, drop a loop. Go through one. Yarn over, go through one. Yarn over, go through two. 
okay. Yarn over, go into the stitch, go through one. Yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two. And that's what they should look like. Okay. So continue doing this for the entire round. And I will see you at the end of the round. So 64 double herringbone stitches. Okay. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of round 12, which was the double herringbone. I verified that I had 64 stitches for this round. And so traditionally the herringbone stitch works when you flip your work each round. So we are gonna do that. So we're going to close off the round by going into the very first stitch of the round. Drop a loop and slip to close. We're going to chain one and turn our work just like this and so what we're going to do is we're going to work in the stitch we're just coming out of do a herringbone double herringbone the first stitch is always a little tough because we're going uh, from the outside to the inside there we go Just like that and then you're going to continue on business as usual okay so 64 herringbones working in the opposite direction continue doing this and I shall see you at the end of the round here 64 double herringbone stitches Okay. All right. Okay, so I am here at the end of round 13 where we are we're working from the inside here. What we want to do is go into the very first stitch of the round, drop a loop and slip to close, chain one and turn our work. And we're going to do one final round of the herringbone stitch working on it from the outside. So it'll be herringbone, herringbone, herringbone. Just a section of herringbones, okay? So we're gonna start by working into the stitch we just came out of, which is right here, right there. We're gonna yarn over, go into that stitch, draw up a loop, go into that very first loop. As I mentioned before, it's a little difficult, that first one. There we go. Go through one, go through two. And then you're just going to continue business as usual. There we go. Okay, so continue doing this. This is the last round of herringbone stitches. 64 total herringbones, and I'll see you at the end of the round. Okay, friends, so the last round of the herringbone um, was round 14. Let me just make sure, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, yep. So this is round 14, we're finishing up here. So we're gonna go into the first stitch of the round, draw up a loop, slip to close, chain one. So this band here is gonna be the only band of the herringbone stitch that this project will have. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to copy this right here. So um, based on the pattern, we're going to jump over here and do the half double cluster stitch. Then we're going to do the three rounds of the crosses, the half, the double, the half, and then the cluster. Okay? So round 15 is going to be the half double cluster stitch. We're going to start by going into the stitch we just came out of, yarn over, go in, drop a loop, yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, 
five on the hook, yarn over, go through all five. Yarn over, go into the stitch that we're still working, drop a loop, yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, five on the hook, yarn over, go through all five. Yarn over, go into the stitch we're still at, drop a loop, yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go through all five. Okay, so continue doing that. You're going to need 64 stitches for the round here. Okay, friends, so I just finished round 15. The last part of that stitch going into the very first stitch of the round. So what we need to do now is go into the very first stitch of the round, drop a loop, slip to close, chain one. Okay, so that's what we're looking like so far. Loving the ombre. Okay. So for the next round, let's take a look. So it's going to be the half double cross stitch. So we're going to skip the stitch that we just came out of and go to the next one. Yarn over, go into that stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through all three, yarn over and then backtrack into the skipped stitch, drop a loop, three, on the hook, yarn over and go through all the stitches there, all the loops, sorry. So from here we're going to skip and go to the next one, yarn over, go into the stitch and drop a loop, yarn over and go through all three. Yarn over, go into the stitch that we skipped, drop a loop, yarn over, go through all three. So that's the half double cross, and you want to continue doing this all the way around, and I will meet you here. So let's go here, just like that. Skip, go to the next one. Okay, continue doing that, and I'll see you at the end of the round. Okay, friends, I am at the end of round 16. I'm going to go into the very first stitch, drop a loop, and slip to close. And so for round 17, as the pattern shows us, we're going to do the half double cross. So we're going to chain one, and we're going to look at our first cross here. And so we're going to yarn over, go to this side of the cross, draw a loop, yarn over, go through two, just do a double crochet, and then come back to this side of the cross and do a double crochet, just like that. You want to continue doing that for every cross of the round here. So there's the cross, go to this side, double crochet, Yarn over and to go this side, just like that. Okay, so continue doing that, and I will see you at the end of the round right here. Okay, friends, I am at the end of round 17, and so we're going to go into the very first stitch of the round, drop a loop, and slip to close, chain one. Let me change hooks here. There we go. Okay, I was experimenting. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so for round 18, we're going to do half double crosses. So yarn over, go to this side of the cross, draw a loop, yarn over, go through three. Yarn over, go to the other side of the cross, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through three, just like we did down here, okay, for round 16. So yarn over, go to this side of the cross, draw up a loop and then yarn over, go through three, yarn over, go to this side of the cross, oops, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through three, okay. So continue doing that, and I will see you at the end of the round right here. Okay, friends, so I am ending round 18 here, which was a round of half double crosses. Okay, and 
based on the pattern here, we're going to do another round of the half double cluster. Okay? So, we're going to close off this round for round 18 by going into the first stitch, drawing up a loop, and slipping to close. We're going to chain one. Okay. Like before, all of the stitches that you see across here count. Some of them are bigger than others, and that's okay. It's part of the cross stitch. Um, so, at any rate, we're going to go into the stitch that we just came out of, which is this one right in between my thumbs. So we're going to yarn over and go into that stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, there's five, yarn over, go through all five. Yarn over, go into the stitch that we are still in right here, drop a loop, yarn over and go into the next stitch, drop a loop, five. We're going to continue doing that for the entire round. Just make sure that you don't skip. When you start your stitch, you're going to continue working in the stitch that you're, you just came out of. So, just like that. Okay, so continue doing this, and I will see you at the end of the round. Okay friends, so I have just ended round 19 here. And what we're gonna do is go into the first stitch, draw up a loop, slip to close. This is what it should look like. So nice, okay. So for round 20, it's gonna be the brim. So round 20 and 21, you should only need two more rows. But what I would do is, do round 20, try on your hat. If it fits, then you're done. But if you feel like you need another row, by all means, go for it. So these last two rows are going to be, or I'm sorry, the last two rounds will be the half double crochet, since it seems like that was the common theme here. So we're going to chain one and go into the stitch we just came out of, which uh, is right here. And we're gonna do a half double crochet in this stitch and in every stitch of the round all half double crochets just like this okay so continue doing this my friends and i will see you at the end of the round okay friends so um i just ended round 20 here all half double crochets and i went ahead and tried it on it it actually fits perfectly for me so I'm going to end that here instead of doing that extra round of half double crochets. But if you need it, by all means, go ahead. So to close off this, what we need to do is insert our hook into the first stitch, drop a loop and slip to close, just like that. We're gonna go ahead and chain two. And then we're gonna grab the scissors and cut a tail. We're gonna pull the hook away from our work and then we're going to pinch and pull. Pull down to create that little knot. That will ensure that um, our project will stay in place. And then now what we need to do is sew in our end. I'm gonna place you on a brief pause and get my darning needle. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my darning needle here. And what we need to do is wrap the yarn over the eye of the needle, pinch and feed through. And then what we need to do is just feed it through. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Bring it down, just like that. Ideally, you wanna go on the inside, but you, can, you can't even see anything here. It looks perfect as it is. Yeah, look how nice that looks. You can't even tell I did anything there. Okay, so that wraps this up.
Now I'm going to take us back to the other room and I'm going to give you some final thoughts. I'll be right back. Okay, friends, so we are back. Friendship Beanie 4.0 is done. I'm so proud of it. Look at this. Look how nice that looks. So under those cameras, you can't really see it, but look at this. Doesn't that look good? That looks so good. I love it. Let me try it on. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I love it. Friendship Beanie 4.0 is a huge success. I love it. Yeah, it looks so good. Okay, so anyway, I really enjoyed making this. If you enjoyed following me, watching the tutorial, um, feel free to go ahead and give me a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hit those notifications to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel, my friends. It's been an honor and a privilege doing this with you. So until the next one, guys, take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.